What's going on guys? Sin for the win here and we are back with our franchise mode as the Montreal Canadiens. Now here are the draft lottery results. We missed the lottery spot by one, which sucks, but whatever, man. We got the second overall, the fifth overall, the sixth overall, and the eleventh overall. So we do have quite a few here. And um I like I we only have one top five pick, but uh you know, three top tens, so that's decent. <laughs> Alright, so you know, we, we will have plenty of options here. And I did want to, um, we'll just keep going here. I'll address a couple things as well. I, I did read the, uh, all the comments and um, I saw someone say to move down people with uh, the two-way two -way deals into the uh, AHL for the, for the run. And I did do that with one guy. I did it with Bear because everyone else just seemed kind of cheesy to move down like an 85 or an 87 down there to the AHL team. So I didn't do that. Um, anyway, so... Yeah, I moved I moved Bear down to give him some more time. Anyway, we lost uh, Placanic and Skivior and pr probably no goalies. Yep, no goalies. So that takes care of that for retirements. Let's check the entire league. Just scroll down. I guess since we're on goalies, we could check goalies first. So Lundqvist's gone quick. Oh, man. Lundqvist quick. Letton and Crawford. <laughs> Halak, Smith, Elliott, Budai. Oh, my God. Kadobin. This is a huge, huge year for goalie retirements. So... Yeah, there better be some uh, guys coming in <laughs> who can help that out. We got it. We got our goalies, so we're set. All right. So, oh, come on, Corey. At 88 over, I would expect him to hang around for a bit longer. 88 overall retires. Bergeron, Placanic. Yeah, we knew about that. Kessler, uh, Hoodler, Steen, Brown, Bufflin, Green, Yandel, Callahan, MacArthur. All right. So, you guys can check them all out here. And uh, it looks like that's pretty much it. Yep. All right, so, all right, some retirement. <laughs> Biznet, man, <laughs> biz nasty, dude, awesome. All right, anyway, so that takes care of retirements. Now we're gonna enter into the draft. Now we can still make that trade, like we were talking about, for uh, that Buffalo prospect or the Ty Smith guy. And I forgot where he was, but we'll find him. Um, it's those defensive guys. It'll all depend on what's... Oops, why did I just go back? It'll all depend on basically what's here in the draft, but this is going to be a huge draft, man. We got we got just a lot of picks, like a lot. Like, we could move up. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, now, what is here? Yep, it might suit us to move for that offensive defenseman because all there's here is defensive defenseman, and I don't really want that. I, I would rather have an offensive... What the hell? One, two, three. Okay, I, I looked at that wrong. I thought there was more than five top fives there for a segment. Holy crap. I'm looking at this. Not really what I'm after out of any of these. A lot of two-way four grinders. Defend, what the hell? I'm actually completely unhappy with this draft right here. Holy crap. A lot of, a lot of bull crap right now. Man. What the hell? Yeah, okay. So we're going to make that trade for sure. Yeah, we're going to make that trade. Okay. We're definitely, 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 definitely going to make that trade. Okay, so let's see if we can pick him up right here and right now. All right. Um, Although, would it would it benefit us maybe to see if he, see what he jumps to? Or would they take him off the block at that point? I don't know. We'll see. Do they have him on the block still? They should, right? They do still have him on the block. He hasn't jumped yet. It might benefit us just to grab him. Or we could do the waiting game and wait. And just draft everyone and then we'd have a lot more assets to trade maybe because sometimes like if you look at okay look how much value he has and then look at some of our pick values uh okay that took a while all right so look at some of our pick values but my oh my god this whole top this top 10 pisses me off <laughs> i was just looking at that just a bunch of crap that i don't want necessarily i mean they can still be amazing so don't get me wrong but i mean when you look at the values here we could get more we could get better players like, we could get better value than this. So, I would rather... Plus, they don't want any of these picks anyway. I would rather kind of wait until after the draft anyways. So, we're actually just going to do that. We're just going to move through here and sim. We got... Oh, man. We... I'm not happy with some of this. Uh, so, they picked up that defensive defenseman guy. I waited too long, which is fine. Now, it's our pick. But I'm just not happy with this draft. Like, some of the players here. Like, there's a freaking grinder. Like, are you serious? You're serious right now? We could pick up a defensive defenseman. I don't have this guy scouted at all. None of these scours are real. This guy is going to be top nine, but we could easily pick that guy. Maybe it does benefit us to pick up a defensive defenseman, even though we might not use him. 
just to have it. Oh, he's 17. Super young. Yeah, we could pick him up. We do. This is our one top five pick. We could go blind after a, a grind. I don't want a grinder. Not not in the top five. No way. Two way forward, I would be able to handle. I know nothing about him, though. So uh, I don't really want to go after him because I, I don't know anything about him. So I'm looking at this guy. It looks like this guy's going to take a while to develop just to see his white stats. His stick checking 74, endurance 72. He's going to take a while to develop nonetheless. So that kind of sucks as well. Um, I'm looking at this guy, 18. Again, all these looking, all these guys are looking like people who would take a while to develop nonetheless. So you know what? Let's just pick the closest thing we have. So I'm just going to go after this. We could always trade the dude, draft and trade. I'm just not happy. Look at it. Look at this top 10. Look at these two-way forwards, two-way forwards, grinders, defensive, defensive. What the fuck? Come on now. Ah, little unhappy, man. A little unhappy. I didn't expect it to be quite like that. But there we go. We just got a yellow elite defensive defenseman. So that's filthy enough already. Um, I'm going to sim a cup. We got, we got another, we got the five as well. So let's see what's available. Maybe one of those two-way forwards. Let's see which one. I'd, that doesn't matter. Let's see. Let's just sim a couple picks here. Is that Roy? Okay, he did turn out to be yellow elite, so all right. I could have picked him up. Um, that grinder turned out to be green top nine. I'm glad I didn't get that. Not in the top five. Green top nine, I'd love in like the first round. Not not anywhere in the top five or ten, though. All right, so that Roy guy is going to be pretty damn good by the looks of him. Let's check him out on Philly. I just want to see what he's like on Philly real quick because that's pretty cool. I want to see, like, basically, I want to see how it looks like he'll grow. Um... Is he going to be a good passer, or is he just going to be more of a defensive two-way forward? In which case, that's definitely not someone I would even want. Where the hell is he? There he is, Roy, or Wah, whatever. P1. Don't tell me it's Patrick. Please don't. Please don't make it be Patrick. Okay. <laughs> um, offensive awareness and passing, as opposed to everything else. You know what? He actually could be a decent defensive player by the looks of it. Don't know, but uh, he's there's there he is. There's his value. Pretty damn good. Looks like uh, yeah, he'll be he'll be replacing Giroux pretty soon. So there you go. We're going to have a very uh, defensive-driven team there. Couturier and that guy moving forward. All right, so just wanted to check him out. Now let's see what I can get for this number five pick. I'm not going to go after that grinder, obviously. I could grab this two-way forward. D. Green, I have no clue about him. I could get this guy, who I know about, but I could just pick him up anyway because we have a lot more picks here. A lot of two-way forwards. I'm not... Uh, I can't say I'm completely happy with that, man. I really can't. This guy's 18. I know nothing really about him, so we could pick him blind because we have the fifth pick. Why the hell not? He's projected to go here. It's th th him or them. Or him or him, and I don't know about either of them. So let's just go for the guy who's projected to be higher, and we'll see what he turns out to be. Yeah, taking a while. Another green. That kind of sucks as well, but we have the other one, so we could pick up the other guy. My goodness. All right, so... Uh, we could... I definitely am probably going to want to pick up that sniper because it's a sniper and there's doesn't look like too many of them. There's a, there is an offensive defenseman down here that we could always pick up as well, but I don't think so. I think if we're going to get an offensive defenseman, we'll just trade for one at this point. Yeah, that's probably what I'm leaning towards. So, okay, we'll pick up Bellamara, see if he's any, any better or different than the other guy. So, we get two center, two way forwards. Please be an elite. There we go. Okay, so we got one elite. Uh, that guy was a green top nine, which again, those can be pretty damn good. But then we got the guaranteed elite as well. So I'm just not happy with the player type. So I got to be honest. That's a little underwhelming. So we have this 11th pick. We could pick up that sniper with it if they if they pick in order of the top 10. So if we all just go to, oh, I don't want to sim the whole round. Let's go to sim our pick. And we can always trade some of these later picks. Uh... Okay, yeah, I know he's still he's definitely still gonna be here. So yeah, some top six guys looks like not as strong of a draft um, Some top six guys. There's the elite goalie. So that's what that's good But let's pick up that sniper that left wing sniper I'm hoping he could be it's it's green top nine So if he's a top six guy, that's not too bad But I might want to start trading away maybe some of these later picks just for some prospects that I want because the way it's looking right now some of these guys might not be great. So let's pick up this sniper because I want him. Please be an elite. Just give me an awesome elite here. Nope, it's going to be another top six. That's uh, that's underwhelming. Yeah, uh, I guess we got the, the a lot of picks for the wrong year. We could have used these last year, to be honest. But hey, that's what happens. Uh, let me just, I'm going to go to trade real quick. And just to see where the values are for these guys. Not saying I'm going to trade. I'm just going to kind of want get to a, get a read on them. So, yeah, yeah there's Valeno. Uh, there's the Bellamare guy, uh, there's the, uh, no, that's the defenseman who picked up. There's the green guy, yeah, they're both, they're all gonna take a while to develop too, so, yeah. 
And there is Dolan. Where's the uh, sniper dude? Ugh, there he is. The, <laughs> his value saying not good. That's okay. Um, At this point, I'm going to start trading away picks, I think. Because it's not going to get better from here. It really is not going to get better. And we have a couple more here, I think. Or just one more. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess just one more because that's Arizona's. Yeah, um, I actually could have traded that one. I actually sh probably should have. But I didn't. I kind of didn't expect the value to be that low. All right, whatever. Let's trade. Let's trade away this last pick because we're not getting anything for that pick. Let's look for... Let me, let me search around here for a prospect that I would really want. Because, wow. Just wow. I could... I don't think... I'm looking more for a forward prospect at this point. Okay, none of those guys. Ugh! I'm pissed about that, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little upset. We have so many picks, but like, it's just... Ugh. Could have used them last year. That sucks. That really does suck. All right, I'm going to kind of search around here for a prospect that I really, 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 really want. But I don't know if they're going to be one. I'm trying to think back to who got all those picks. And I can't really remember. So I might I might do a bit of a... Uh, yeah, a bit of uh, editing here just to speed this up. All right, so I'm going to look at something like this. I couldn't find any kind of forward prospects that I was really super interested in. And that were like sort of a little bit more developed than ones we had. You know, it's kind of very specific what I was looking for. So I might as well try to go after the offensive defenseman prospect right now. This Roden guy. Now, I'm going to throw in the, the first that we have. The last, last first. Petrie, a second and a third. And then hold try to hold on to our second here. Now, I don't know if this will go. Oh, he has one year left. They won't even want that because he's gonna, they're going to say it's the risk, huh? I didn't, yeah, I didn't even see he had. I thought he had more than that. My bad. So we're going to have to remove Petrie there. Well, that puts a damper on things. Now, we could just add in more picks. I could throw in that second. I was thinking of holding on, on, holding on to that and pick up some kind of role player. But, uh, you know, I could throw in a second from next year. I could do that. Next year's draft might be better, but at that point, drafting is not something that we'd be super interested in for at least the latter picks. So, yeah, throwing a bunch of picks for this guy, we could do. Yeah, we could do stuff like this. I don't know if this will go through. I'll try it. Um, I might need a bit more, but let's try it. Not quite. Um, they're not even particularly interested in, <laughs> in what we're sending. That's fine. We'll get interested because, yeah, we're a little screwed here. Um, I Maybe hold on to the third... I don't know. I'm just so I'm a little bummed about this year's draft though. We had so much and then like, yeah. Let me throw in that third. That should push it across for sure. Yeah. Uh might be a little too much to be honest. I don't know. I can't I don't really have much else besides that. We could throw in the fourth. Yeah, we'll throw in next year's fourth. So a lot of picks. Try to get this guy. A first, second, a third, and then a second and a fourth. Like, come on now. Yeah. Bit off in value. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm a little thrown off by this draft, though, for sure. I was expecting a little bit more variety there in the top ones, but whatever. All right, we'll throw that third in there, and then that should go through. The, all these picks, because some of these are going to be garbage by the way this draft's panning out. Next year, we won't need a draft as heavy. We're looking for, we're looking for uh, qu uh, quality at this point. So, there we go. All right, so... All right, well, made that trade for a ton of picks, but picks that I don't think we're necessarily going to need, and that guy's going to be a monster. So, there we go. Ugh. So now we're just going to sim up to our next pick, and that should be the, our, our second, and then that's it. Then I'm going to pick up some kind of role player here, you know, see what, see if we can find a gem in the le in the later rounds, but uh, that was slightly disappointing, I'm not going to lie, I was ex I kind of wanted a bit more variety there, but you know, we still got great prospects, like don't get me wrong, that gives us a lot of options moving forward, it's just not exactly what I was looking for, so he's another defensive defenseman, I would, ugh, I would rather... You know, I'll pick him up. It'll it'll solidify our defensive core, man. If we get another defensive defenseman who's who will be, we, we're gonna have such a strong defensive core moving forward. So this this will be the year where we just solidify our defensive core right here. And then we do have a lot of fours that we drafted last year. Yeah, let's do it. Bryce Forbes, defensive defenseman. He's a righty. Oh, he's a lot of. We feel like we have a lot of lefties, but that's all right. Let's pick him up. Forbes, what's good? That took a while um hey top four i'll take it top four in the second round cool all right so there we go top four i'm glad i held on to that pick but the other ones i wasn't too excited about so we'll hold on to that and then we should have i think uh fifths is coming up next i believe and i think that's pretty much it so yeah 
I was very, very excited. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's still a good draft. We got so much value, like a lot of value. The only one that it was, it was kind of met was that top six guy that we picked up like uh, just after the top 10 or was that the other guy? I can't remember, but it was, yeah, I was not excited about that guy. I think it was 11th. Yeah, I was like right after the top 10. He turned out to be a top six. I would have preferred still an elite guy, but those are, that's tough to get. Um, so we're still looking at some, wow, a red top nine here in the fifth round. That's pretty cool. All right, well, maybe this is more of a longevity draft then. Uh, we can get a grinder. I'm, uh, I'm interested in that. Another two-way forward. Maybe just pick up this grinder for the hell of it. Not great low uh, league interest, but hey, you never know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Top six. Uh, it's another defenseman. With no value, though. It's probably red if he's... Or, sorry, not no value, but no league interest. It's most likely red in that case. Well, you do have two-fifths, though. So we could try to get that guy. I want to pick up this grinder, I think. Yeah, Eve St. Pierre. I don't know anything about him, but he's a he's a he's a freaking grinder. So there we go. Let's see what he turns out to be. I just want to see. Come on now. Oh man, that was <laughs> not great. Yeah. Oh, well, that was a blind pick, so that's all right. Let's see if we could our other fifth. We could get that guy. I hope it's not too far back. It might be a bit, but maybe not. Oh yeah, it was. Oh yeah, because it was freaking Arizona's. Damn it. Yeah, that's right. All uh, right, whatever. Like these guys, it's yeah, it's not a huge huge deal. Yeah. So that other guy was is obviously going to be gone now. Uh, there's a 7th D we could pick up. Let me just sort by league interest right here and see if there is power forward would be nice to t try out. Six says six round, but hey, I mean, how what projections wise is there even any? There's a lot of fifth slash six, but sniper no, no 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 another. Def we can pick up another grinder, but a blind I don't know. All right, let's go by league interest again. Do we even have that guy remotely scouted? I can't remember not really no so let me go up by projections then and just pick something from here that i think could work snipers and the playmaker no grinder would be the best one in here uh yeah i'll just pick try another grinder let's see i know he's got no link interest and in crap but whatever we'll see what he is if it's another yeah it's another ahl so it's not looking great in here so that's all right we'll see we'll see what else we could get but yeah just man oh that defensive defense was great he'll be awesome we have some choices, but we did pick up that two-way defenseman. You know what I mean? So it's like, that guy's probably just a trading asset at this point. And, um, yeah, so now we could go after that power forward guy with the high league interest if he's here. Uh, no, no, I think he got picked. Oh, yeah, he is here. Let's try him. We'll try that out. Let's see if he's even going to be a role player of any sort. Nope, it's not, look it's not looking good right here. So you know what? I'm, just, I'm not even going to pick the seventh guy. I'm just going to I'm just gonna sim the rest of that draft there. Oh, damn it. I was so excited about this draft. So I'm not like we still got great guys. Green and Bellamare are like amazing players, amazing two-way forwards. But like, well, Green not so much. It was more Bellamare that was better. But uh, and we got a really good defense, uh, defensive defense. And that guy I think is trade bait because we did make the move to get that two-way defenseman. Again, we don't have to trade him immediately. We're gonna see who comes out better. We're gonna see who develops fastest. Who could we? Who would work best on our team? So. It's, it's bad in the sense that we didn't get what we want, but it's a great draft in the sense that we have way too many options moving forward. Like, we're gonna be, we're, we're not going to know who the hell to keep anymore. Like, it's going to be insane. So, let's get this re-sign stage done and then check out what's in the free agency. But, uh, yeah. Um, I, was ex I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I was just expecting more variety there in the top 10. I was hoping to get, you know, some more like offensive options and stuff like that which as i said those two-way forwards don't get me wrong they could be great offensive players um they could just turn out to be offensive dynamos but it's 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 not a for sure thing i mean you, you can say you can argue that's not a for sure thing that a sniper turns out to be an offensive dynamo either but there's a better chance of it so resign i think we got to get gallagher back at least just to sign him he's a little unhappy which i'm not too sure why uh, la okay, yeah, he's pissed. He's kind of, he's kind of, he's, uh, he's he's at the age in his prime where he's like, yo, are we gonna start winning or what? So what's good? Okay, he wants three years. I'll take him up till he's thirty-two. Will that line you up with like Galchenyuk? One, two, three. Yeah, line up with Galchenyuk. I like it. Uh, all right, so I'll do Gallagher three years at five point two five. We could probably get, which is really good. There we go. All right, Petrie. We get signed for like a year to have him. Uh, ooh, Lekkonen, is that, I don't think that would be morale at this point. Doesn't look like it. So, maybe he is getting slightly better. Let's see what kind of contract he wants. Okay, now it's looking like he is going to cap out around there. Yeah, now it is looking like that. So, let's give him, 
I will give him two years because we can afford it. And I'll try to turn this guy into a role player, like someone was saying. So we'll do two years at 3.25, and we'll take him up until he's done growing, try to turn him into some kind of a role player slash extra, uh, auxiliary scoring and someone who could jump up in case of injury. Uh, Petrie will hold off on just because. Um, I don't think we'll run into cap problems, but you never know. Shen, Dano, we got to get back for sure. Um, yeah, we, he's a guy we want moving forward. Uh, he just wants a year. You know, I'll just give him a year then. If he just wants a year, I'll give him a year. All right, a year at that amount. That should be fine. There we go. Uh, Lappin, we could hold on to. He was decent. Yeah, I like his defensive stats. Um, we could hold on to that. I don't know if this year we got to have a lot of guys moving up, but we might. But we don't have to give this guy much, like a, a mil for a year, which is perfectly fine. Shen, again, we could, but I, we don't know who's jumping up. Again, we can always trade guys. And he is on the older side. But we will need placeholders if guys don't get better. Um, I'm also looking at, uh, okay, Dolan, we got to resign. Is he going to want, he does want a real deal, but if you look at it, uh, it doesn't increase as much as I would like, to be honest. So it might be good that we have a lot of options moving forward. You know, I'll give him two years because that's what he wants. Two years at 1.5. Let's hope, let's hope that's wrong. Let's hope that's wrong. We didn't give up like a King's Ransom for the dude by any means. I mean, we gave up shit that we didn't need. So it won't be the hugest of deals if he doesn't turn out to be a Dynamo. In which case, we, you know, we drafted a defensive defenseman who could be that guy. And hopefully that Roden guy. So we're, we're still in good shape when it comes to that. All right, we're getting down here to guys I don't know if I want. Cedarholm, Kopaka. Cedarholm, AHL, yeah. You know what? As a top six. We're, we'll, we'll hold on to him for a bit. Yeah, we'll just hold on to him. He could be depth in the future for us. Always hold on to guys like that. Same with you, Kopaka. I'll give you uh, the max amount uh, that I can. There you go. Or years, I mean. All right. And uh, I am keeping an eye on the roster slots. I don't want to run out of that. Okay, this guy, no. Immediately, no. So, it's like, uh, yeah, for the two-way contracts, yeah, salary doesn't matter. But roster slots is what you're worried about at this point. Um, definitely. So, let me see here. All right, uh, defensively, what are we looking at? Dolan could probably play up. Uh, this guy could probably play up. Um, Nestrov, I'm kind of over this guy at this point. Yeah, as an offensive defenseman, sure, he could boost up our minor league team, but we, I think at this point we have the guys that are going to fill in those roles about their own. Like, Or maybe not. Where's our... Uh, here they are. Not quite yet. Yeah, Rodin. Well, he might be there. He's a little unhappy. Yeah, he's got anxiety. That's the only thing. All right, so I'm actually interested in this guy. He's 17, and he's starting out at that. I don't know. Well, he could get quite a jump. We'll see. Um, so Rodin, I think he'll be eligible for AHL. So he could jump up there, but he might not be ready for the top two. So maybe we do hold on to Nestrov just for that. If he wants a two-way deal, I'll give it to him for sure. Let me see. Uh, Nestrov, you want a two-way deal? I think you should at your overall. You should want... No, he doesn't want a two-way deal. I'll hold off on you then. All right. Petrie, Shen. I think we just sign him to a year each. Uh, I think we'll need more plays. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Petrie, calm down. No, no, no. You're, I'll sign you, but calm down there. I'm giving you 4.5. I'm not going over that. Calm down. He might not sign for that, which case I will go over that, but he's got to chill out there. You want it? Okay, you don't want too much, though. One year, it's a bit for you. I don't think I'll be able to go much lower, though. I'll try that. I, I don't think I'll be able to even get that. All right, McElrath. Again, maybe another placeholder slash depth slash play you in the AHL to help him out if they don't have the guys. It, I want him to be two-way deals, but you know what? At that price, it doesn't matter too much. If we just play him in the AHL all year, it won't matter at all. So, yeah, I'll get both of them. Now, yeah, I do. I am worried about the roster spots, but we we won't be signing nine rookies, I don't think. At least not this year. This Tucker guy, we can get rid of him. Yeah, we don't need him. Plus, that'll free up some space. Well, not really, because he's uh, UFA. All right, goalies, Rusu, I think we want to sign for sure. Lindgren, no, he's gone. Yeah, Lindgren uh, never turned out to be anything. We're not, we weren't even playing him, so he's gone. Uh, yeah, some people are going to lose some morale. Don't care. Rusu, hopefully this guy turns into a backup for us. Doesn't look like it. So I'll give him max years. Well, you never know at the uh, at a two-way deal. If we could, we can get him for affordable price. So that's nice. You know, since he doesn't want that, I'll just give him that. Yeah, since he doesn't want that many years, we'll do that. All right, and 
I think I should advance a day here to see what we have. Yeah, I'm going to advance a day, see what we've got left to work with. Ah, I'm still, I'm still a little salty about the draft just because there wasn't like, it's still, ah, I don't know. I just, just wasn't the right variety for me. I've never seen something like that. So that took, that surprised the hell out of me. I've never seen just grinders and like, uh, like, ah, uh, Deno rejected. Okay. Uh, Shen rejected, but Petrie accepted. So yeah, screw you for on that doll in <laughs> <Don't, laughs> the money you're worth. Chill the hell out, man. Newbie. This guy, this guy needs to learn. <laughs> Dolan. Dolan! We haven't, that guy hasn't set foot on the ice for us. He's saying he, uh, oh, his agent runs a hardball, uh, what the hell am I trying to say? Runs a tight ship, I guess? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Alright, so Dano, we know. We gotta get Dano back. What the hell? Alright, so, 2.75. Did I already try that? Why didn't he want that? Didn't I already try that? I'll give him 2.85 then. He'll, he'll accept for that. Uh, Shen... Yep. Just the year, though. At that. There you go. Don't be a dick, Shen. You're not even that good. Uh, Terry, maybe. All right, Dolan, yeah, let's get back him. All right, so he wasn't happy about what I tried to give him. 1.5, so I'll give him 1.75 for two years. Hopefully, he breaks the, uh, he breaks out. Or if not, eight. Hey, yeah, if he turns out to be a really good top four, 87 top four, I'll use him. Oh, I won't say I'll trade him. It, yeah, sure. We don't uh, we don't get him to where he was, you know, potentially to get. But hey, it's better than Sergachev would have turned out to be, and all the guys we weren't going to use. So yeah, the trade still makes sense, even if he turns out to be a, a, a high top four. I'll be cool with it. Um, I'm looking to see if I wanted these guys to improve the HL team. Still, I don't know if we're still that type of team. I'm looking. Let me just look at forwards here now. Age wise, let's sort by potentials here. Alright, uh until he's he's AHL ready. Uh not quite. Day's AHL ready. So that's two. Let me just do forwards here, because that's the most important part. Yeah, so day and until should yeah, they'll, they'll be AHL. Uh this guy's well, but no no, we were already playing him. Then everyone else kinda didn't matter. Yeah, uh, so I think I should sign at least one of those guys. Yeah, I definitely should sign one of them. Yeah, a couple of them won't quite be ready, but some of them will. All right. Uh, yeah. Let me sign. Let me. Yeah. Let me sign them. All right. All right. All right. Cool. 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 Let's figure this out. Alrighty. Now. Yeah, Terry will sign you to like a year. Keep keep go, keep keep, uh, keep him going like a year at a time. Oh, he wants a one-way deal. Well, too bad. Oh well, I can afford that. It's not even a big deal. Uh, Flynn, I'll do him as well, just be, just in case. I could always have him scratched for like, and that won't that won't affect the dude. I'm not giving you three years though. All right, and that should be it. I think that's pretty. That's everyone. Mhm. Mm that's everyone. We could always check free agency. There should always there could always be some guys there as well. Oh, beautiful. He's at 77 now. Oh, yeah. This guy's totally going to be ready for a backup role. Easily, yeah. If there's in free agency, we need to look for, like, a goalie closer to around 85 or trade for one. Just to just to, just to make sure that this guy plays more of a backup role than getting too many games in. Because I've had that situation where, like, all of a sudden he gets a little too many games in. It might stunt him. I don't know. I'm a little superstitious about that. Maybe the guy was screwed to begin with that I had had, but whatever. All right, so let's sim another day again. Make sure we get all those guys. And then we'll see what's available in free agency. And yeah, should be good. All right, advance a day here. Uh, come on. Oh, Deno, what the hell? You're not happy here. And you don't want, oh, holy crap. He doesn't want to be here anymore. Deno, what are you talking about, bud? You're, you're, you're an amazing fourth liner. <laughs> what the fuck, Deno? He just doesn't want to be here. So is he, I think he's overage. He's a UFA, huh? Fuck. I can't even tender him if he doesn't want to be here. He just don't, what the, what a dick. You're not happy here. You know what? We're going to, you're going to be, you're going to wish you hadn't said that. I'll give you a three mil for a year, bud. That's it though. What the hell is this guy talking? I can give him more. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll give him more until he's happy again, to be honest. Ah, what the hell though? 
All right, yeah, let's try to get Dan O back because I like him, man. He's he's freaking good. He's good defensively. He's great defensively. That's I like the re that's the reason I held on to all those like older. I say older. They're older now, but like all the young guys that we started with, like the two way forwards. That's why I hold on to them. What the fuck? I'm gonna keep. I'm going until I get you, man. We have so much cap space that I will not hesitate to blow seven mil on you. I'm just kidding. I won't go seven mil, but I'll give him like four. I'll definitely give him four mil to stick around. But uh, let's let's go inch by inch here. One year, I'll give you 3.5, dude. 3.5 for one year. You're probably going to be playing on the fourth line, man. So you better like that. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything here. Seriously, what the hell, man? <laughs> why, is, why is he being like that? I guess I, I guess I can't blame him. He's been playing on the fourth line on a team that's not doing good. He just entered his prime. He wants to start winning. There we go, you dick. <laughs> all right so i think that takes care of everything let me just do one last look here dano playing hardball my goodness yo man if i'm gonna play fourth line i want some extra money technically it's not how the world works but we're you're lucky you're on a rebuilding team then if that's the case because we do have the money all right so yeah let me just uh let me just look at all our prospects here now <sighs> so many elite prospects Where's the... Okay, so Antropov, there is one of them. Day and Antropov. Um, might not become that great. Hopefully, Lind can break some barriers here and be, like, really good. These guys um, was... what Lekkonen might not be panning out. Um, we need to find some other sniper, I think. I know we got uh, Antilla. He could be really good. But I'm thinking about some kind of a left wing. Because we can hold on to Skinner. Antropov, I don't think, is going to be that... Uh, Day could be a good second liner. Um, but again, we also have Lynn. We could package Day and Antropov for like an elite. I don't know. I'm thinking may maybe that we'd have to do that. But we'll see what these guys turn out to be. He's 73 at 20 overall. So if we play this guy correctly, maybe he breaks he breaks out and does something cool. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get into free agency and see what's available here. We got 10 roster slots. So that should be good. We could start looking for a guy entering his prime to help us uh boost us into the future but we also got to pay attention to uh, all of our younger guys coming up as well so all right um advance a day i think that's it yeah huh okay i didn't have i didn't have any contracts pending so let's just go to free agency and here we are all right so let's see what's available here in free agency uh not too much uh johansson nope definitely not we have the centers we need yeah, not looking like anyone that we had signed to make um, for a half rebuild. Yep, none of these guys. Okay, so what we'd look at is now potential. Uh, nope, 23 maybe. He's tendered though. Yeah, he's tendered. Ah, two way for no. Um, not looking like any of these guys. Kapitanov, sniper, top nine though. Nope. I'm looking for someone who's going to be red then. Oh, this Bolton guy. No, two-way forward at top nine. No. Red top nine. I would pick him up just to see. I don't think he'd be turn out to be anything, though. Especially at 65 at 20. Yeah. Ah, Bit unfortunate. Oh, that's not. He's not. I was looking. Yeah. Wrong one. Uh, Top six. Nesterov. Another Nesterov, but defenseman. Could sign him. 21. At 72, that's pretty good. Ooh, 19, hold on. 19 red. Red top six, those are always... Ah, no, it's no, it feels like top red top four, maybe. I don't know. Meh, maybe. We can sign a few of these guys. How about any goalies? Any... Oopsies. Any good potential goalies here? Because I would be interested in some potential goalies. If there is any. Come on. Here we are. Uh Oh, hello. Now, this guy, what the hell, why is this guy, oh, he's tender, that's why, I would, ooh, but I don't, I actually, <gasps> didn't I trade away one of my seconds? Oh, he could probably cost a second. This is a freaking Philly, what the hell are you thinking, Philly? This guy's Deese, man. He's pretty Deese. Yeah, 22 at 84. He would be the backup of the future, I hate to say it like that, but he would be, because we have that elite guy coming up, but he could be that role. And he can, they can make the switch eventually. Although at 84, if he gets too much more better, then it's not that good of a trade-off. Because then he'll st he'll be stealing games after a while. Ugh, that's tough. Well, for goalies, let's sort by overalls here. All right, beautiful. I see someone. Dubnik. 
Dubnik would, uh, except he could probably just drop heavily. At age 35, he's listed to be fringe starter. You know what? For the one year, though, it could work. Uh, yeah, it could work for that one year thing. Anyway, let me know about that. But I'll probably sign Dubnik. Oh, he wants four, four years. What the fuck? I could sign him for one year for a buttload of money because we have plenty of cap, though. Yeah, that's that's definitely an option. Sign Dubnik for a year while our elite goalie becomes elite, basically. I would do that. And then, yeah, so we're on the brink, guys. One, yeah, one more year, I think we're a playoff team. I don't think, I don't think we'll make it this year. We could. We could make the playoffs this year. Uh, we signed we sign a guy like Dubnik. Anything could happen. And we start playing some guys in higher roles and things like that. It could happen. We could be a playoff team this next year. But uh, I'm not sure. It might take one more year. So that's if that's what happens, that's what happens. But uh, we're not in a huge rush. But uh, we would like to. We would like it sooner rather than later. So all right. So that was it. The, that was the draft. We got a lot there. We got a lot of value that we could ship off. Didn't get the rider you wanted, but that's all right. Um, you can see what's in the free agency. What what should we sign? I'm leaning towards signing Dubnik. You guys might have other ideas. You probably want to sign the younger goaltender, but. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not, he's tender number one. I might have to give up a second, in which case I don't have a second, so I can't even get him. And it, again, we might run into that problem where he all of a sudden gets too good. Sure, we could trade him off, but like, that's a bit of a hassle as well. Plus, we'd have to give up a pick for him, so it wouldn't make too much sense in that case. But we only need a year or so for this elite, uh, our goalie to get good, I think. Um, anyway, you guys let me know about all that. Um, yeah, let me know about the draft and things like that. And uh, yeah, pretty much everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to leave that like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. The light is at the end of the tunnel. And we can see it.